Hello friends, watch this. Have you played with it? Nice. You know, it is a big stress reliever and there is a great physics associated with it. What we can learn from this? You have any idea? Yes? Yes, that's correct. So, friends, welcome to my channel, Tony Sim Physics. subscribe till now please subscribe to my channel and if you like this video hit the like button and do comment and share this is yo-yo this is an energy converting machine when you hold yo-yo in your hand it stores gravitational potential energy and when you release it the GPE changes into kinetic energy so there is a continuous exchange of GPE that is gravitational potential energy and kinetic energy in this yo-yo just like a roller coaster. Friends, you know all the energies are categorized into two. Energy which can be stored and energy which can be transferred in a medium. Stored energies are gravitational potential energy, kinetic energy, thermal energy and chemical energy. Whereas energy which can be transferred they are light energy, heat energy, sound energy and electrical energy. All these energy need a medium to transfer. Many times we feel that thermal energy and heat energy both are same. But it is not same. It is a very common misconception. Thermal energy is actually a stored energy. It is a total internal energy of a molecule in that particular substance. Whereas heat energy is energy which can be transferred in a medium when there is a temperature difference. So thermal energy is a stored energy whereas heat energy is the energy which can be transferred. These are four different types of stored energies. Potential energy can be stored in an object in two ways. When you take an object above the ground, it stores gravitational potential energy. When you, when you stretch any elastic material, then it stores elastic potential energy. Kinetic energy can be stored in an object because of, of, of its movement. Any kind of movement will store kinetic energy in that object. Thermal energy can be stored in any object when we heat it. And chemical energy because of the chemical substance present in that object. What happens when we heat an object? To understand this, we should know the concept that every substance contains two types of energy that is kinetic energy and potential energy. When we are heating, then kinetic energy of the internal molecules gets increases because they absorb the temperature and start vibrating faster. So altogether, internal energy of this substance increases. These are some of the important energy transformations. In a burning candle, chemical energy of the wax gets converted into light energy. In a process of photosynthesis, radiant energy of sun gets converted into chemical energy. In a television, electrical energy gets converted into light and sound. There will be small loss of energy in the form of heat over here. In a steam engine, chemical energy of the coal gets converted into heat and that leads to kinetic energy. In a gas stove, chemical energy of the fuel gets converted into thermal energy. In a catapult, elastic potential energy when we stretch it, that gets converted into kinetic energy. And the last one in a turbine of a hydro power plant, GPE that is gravitational potential energy gets converted into kinetic energy. As we know in a hydro power plant, we store water at a height and because of that GPE gets stored in that water and when that water falls on the turbine, it it's changes into kinetic energy. Friends, I hope you have liked this video. If you have any query about the content or any question, please do comment. Thank you.